Hi. So now we're going to have a go at drawing some sea otters. Um, I'm going to draw them in the sea because obviously that's where they pretty mostly live. So start with, we're going to do lots of like circular shapes. So maybe you'll follow along with me. So we're going to draw one circle here like so. And then another one here. We're going to draw a pair of otters together. They're often not really seen alone. So one here and one here. I'm going to draw a circle in the middle like so. Looks a bit like a nose at the moment, but <laughs> you'll see in a minute what it um, should look like. And then from on this side, we're going to draw a little sausage next to that head. So that's going to be like one head and part of the arm there and the same on this side I'm going to draw a little sausage here okay now just below that a little circle there and a little circle there so it's going to be these other feet and then next this one a little circle here and a little circle here and that's going to be this otter's little feet okay now just below there the last thing I'm going to do is one sausage two sausages and that's going to be their tail now bear with me I know it looks very strange at the moment but I'm going to show you how it works. So, okay, let's get started on the face as well. So in the middle of each one, I'm going to draw a diamond shape. So one that side and one on this side, diamond shape, like so. Okay, and that's going to show us where the noses are going to be. And then you're going to draw two little eyes, they're quite small, Sort of just above, just on the in line with that top point of the nose. So again, in line with that top point, I'm going to draw a little eye here, a little eye over here, like so. Okay. Now from these noses, we're going to draw a little line going down, a little line that way, a little line that way. It looks a bit like you're drawing a stick man. And then I'm going to just shade a little bit, a little bit thicker where that line joins, and that's it. So same this side down. Little like stick man, I'm just gonna shade like so. Okay, and there's the mouth so far. Now the nose, you need to draw two little arches. One, two. I'm gonna colour this one in, colour this in a little bit, and then you just shade the rest of that diamond in. Curve it round the edges a little bit. Just make sure those nostrils are a bit darker. That's one. And the same this side. So I'm going to draw two little nostrils. Shade them in a bit darker. Press a little bit harder. And then shade the diamond in. And take your time. Like that. And there we have two little noses. Um, now the eyes, same as usual. What we are going to do, just round the eyes, is going to give one little line there, a little line like that they're usually tucked right in behind all the fur okay i'm going to draw a little highlight at the top of each eye and then color around it like i normally do doesn't matter if you can't see the highlight really obviously because they're quite small eyes but just having a hint of it will be subtle like that and then the same this side so we're going to draw a highlight a highlight we're going to have a little crease there little crease there Draw around that eye like so. There we have. So we have two little eyes, nose and a mouth so far. So it's looking pretty good. Now, on either side of the head, before we start doing any fluffing, we need tiny little ears. So just do tiny little curves. One there, one there. Not too big. I'll just make them quite dark. So I'm pressing quite hard. One there. One about there. They're just about seen over the fur. Okay, now it's time to get furry. So we're going to fur, oh, a little bit too much. Little tiny bits. You can see I'm just doing a tiny little wiggle. I'm almost just shaking my pencil. Almost as if you're shivering, just to make little tiny bits there. I'm going to do it all the way around. I'm going to come bring it from here. So I'm going to do fluff from each of these all the way around. And then I'm also going to fluff underneath that like that okay so that's head number one we'll do the same over here so we'll just do little gentle bits of fluff I'm not pressing too hard i'm gonna do it from here round from this line 
around like so and then underneath give it a bit of a lip okay like that now from here i'm going to fluff out i'm going to come quite right out and then i'm going to go down and i'm going to cut this pore off quite straight and you'll see why in a minute and then fluff that bit up like that and i'm going to draw quite a straight line across the body like so and then we're going to go round like that and fluff down to that line there and then we're going to go up like so and that's the first part now we're going to do this side now i'm going to start here so we're going to do one tiny little spike two three four and round okay see if you've guessed how i'm drawing them now down like so and then straight line across the body so this one's going to fluff in right here to the body like that now same this side we're going to start near the ear and fluff out round to this now this paw is going to one two and draw two little lines like that on it and then make sure i curve over that a little bit like so okay now come to these circles here so on each of the circle i'm going to do two little lines and then go draw around it not too much fluffing at this point and i'm going to go over 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 on this one and round this one's a bit different i'm just going to draw might draw one line in like that and then this one round Two lines like that straight across okay now here we're gonna go round the top and then point it off a little bit not too sharp a point a bit of a round a bit like a carrot shape and the same this side round and point okay like so now there you have your otters at the moment what we need to add in and you can use colour pencil for this so I'm going to use a colour pencil but you can do it just with your ordinary pencil so I've got a blue quite a light blue quite sharp and all I'm going to do is draw a little like a bit like the letter C just around here around there so I'm following that line around like that I'm going to draw along the body and around and I'm going to draw some coming out some can be longer than others. I've got to draw some ramming around here. You might be able to see what I'm doing now. Now, on these lines, I am pressing quite hard and I will go over them so that they stand out a little bit. Okay, like obviously if you're doing with a pencil, you can draw them lightly and then use a colour pencil to go over it. And then around here... Now, if they're doing some that going further away, they get like longer and they usually get a bit lighter. So you can see I'm doing it slightly, slightly more pointed there, a bit tighter round here. So I'm going to draw one here, one around the back there, maybe one like that. Draw a little one, bigger one, bigger one here. There we go. Now the tail's usually a little bit still so I'm just going to draw a little dark bits coming out like that just around the, around the tail a bit more like that okay then what I can do I'm just going to turn my page slightly because I use the side of the pencil the edge of it is I'm just going to shade so you can see I'm holding the pencil quite flat against the paper and I'm just going to shade it in very lightly so you can still see all my darker lines where I've pressed hard but this time I'm just going to shade in some water Ooh. again take my time try not to go too much in on the pores but we can always color them color over it if you do or if you've got a rubber you can always rub out if you really want to there we go might make that a bit of a darker edge at the top there. okay so now you can see our otters are living in a little bit of water and you can go over these a little bit, make them a little bit more fluid. You can add a few little lines in between if you want to make the water a little bit more moving. Okay, 
Now with our otters, if you're going to colour, we've got a dark brown. I've got a darker brown, so I usually do a darker brown for the body. So I'm going to start just the edge here. And again, I'm still using that scribbly. But when I colour, I'm going to use the fluffy uh, line. So I'm going to fluff, 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 fluff. All the way around in the sort of direction the fluff would go, or the hair would grow under here. I'm going to do little bits at a time so you can go all the way along. And then over the top and over the top a bit more. All the way up. Make it change direction a little bit of fluff around here. Now, I've seen, I don't know if it's just because they get wet, I'm not entirely sure, but I have seen that their pores are usually a little bit dark. I'm just going to give a bit darker shading under there. Um, so if I hit a pore and all their pore areas, I'm just going to shade and press a little bit harder and not necessarily do it in the way that I fluff. So maybe just colour it a little bit thicker. So it will naturally look lighter when you leave, a, leave all the little white gaps like I have here. Whereas it looks darker when you fill all of them in. So I'm going to go around there and I will go over the little lines we've drawn for the pores. So you can do that first or after and then shade. Um, draw a little, go over the little lines and then shade. And the same for this one. Shade. Here it is coloured. You can see that I've used a slightly lighter brown here and I've made some whiskers but you can sketch them in just with an ordinary pencil. Um, but yeah, here's your sea otters.